In this tutorial, we are going to create an analog clock. Clocks might sound boring, but they are good examples for learning. Let's take a look at the finished results so you know what you will be making. Here in the properties panel, we have three controls for choosing the time, the number of hours, minutes and seconds. Currently, they all say zero. Changing them changes the time of the clock. Notice that when I adjust the minute hand, you can see that the hour hand moves like it should automatically reaching halfway through the hour whenever the minute hand reaches 30. No matter which time I choose here, the hands will always be in the right location. The time you choose with these controls is the time the clock will have on frame 0. If we set it to 1, 45, 25, it will be the starting point of the animation. When we press play, the clock starts ticking and will continue to do so until the timeline ends. The speed of the clock is determined by this speed FPS value. This is the number of frames it takes for the clock to go one second. If we set it to the same as the frame rate of our scene, the clock will run in real time. If we give it a larger value, it will go in slow motion, since it takes more frames for it to go one second. And if we give it a small value, it will spin like crazy. We have one last property to look at and that is the hand pause. This determines how smooth the second hand moves. Now when it is close to 1, it stands still almost the entire time, making it sharply jump between each second. When I set it to 0, it flows completely without making a stop. And if I set it to 0.5, it stands still half the time and moves half the time. The clock only has one physical control, this empty. You use it to move, rotate and scale the clock to fit whatever you want. And that's it. So, let's get started. 